It's not what you did, son, that angers me, son. It's who you did it to. Who? The nobody? That nobody is John Boy. Hello everyone and welcome back to the John Wick Minute, the show where we analyze, scrutinize, and celebrate John Wick one minute at a time. I'm Samuel. Seth is missing and I am Steven. Um, yeah, we're down one more co-host again, but that's okay. We'll we'll get back up and running just it's always a surprise it's fine. Who we're we the funny ones yeah there we go <laughs> i just won't tell him we said so uh those watching on youtube will also notice we don't have our nice background this time that's okay deal with it it'll be fine stop complaining it's free entertainment it'll be fine <laughs> uh, so it's, it's it's free something it's free, free something it is a it is a free pastime it Untreat. passes time Untreat. you can't Lord. deny that much um it, it does pass time all right so today we're talking yeah. about minute number 41 of john wick uh minute number 41 begins with john going downwards in an elevator and it ends with perkins looking away from john or the camera both actually i guess so yeah yep and thank you for joining us on this episode of the john wick <laughs> minute and we'll see you for the next one there are cause... things to say just there not a lot things that happen um <clears throat> yes yeah. Uh, so I have a I have a nickname for this room, which and it's room? only going to be funny to some people. This this bar room. Okay. That we're in. Okay. It's only going to be so general overview. It's only okay. going to be funny to some people, but I'm calling it the red green room. The red green room. I mean, well, what? Because it's red. It's like red and green. But the red green show. Do you not? Do you not know what I that is? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah. Uh... The Red Green Show. It it was a Canadian show, I believe, actually, of this goofy fix it guy. Very slapstick, very cheap humor, hilarious, uh, where he fixes things in the most redneck of ways. And it was called the Red Green Show. But anyway. Interesting. That that joke didn't land very well. It's yeah, alright. Um it's also Christmas. You will themed. YouTube it after this. Yes. So. Yes. I wonder what their Christmas parties are like there. Did, All the assassins in one room. Do you think they celebrate Christmas? Do they do white elephant gifts? What do a group of assassins <laughs> do with a white elephant gift exchange? Just gold coins, guns, ammo, <clears throat> knives. I don't know. So what do you got. get somebody who already has all those things? What if you do it with this? <laughs> Too soon. Whoops. Oh, no. Um, John, I can just see everybody. And John sits there and gets his back. His... <laughs> just shoots everybody in the room. And everyone dies. The end. <laughs> um, so we do have the Tyler Bates uh, John Wick theme kicking in. And it always that theme gets me gets me hyped i'm like ready to see john do some cool john stuff um before he gets to this bar room um kind of like a speakeasy almost he goes down like a really the the plaster is cracking there's a stairwell laundry room like boiler the steam everywhere or boiler room with like steam everywhere um plumbing and whatever a dark hallway it's like prison style door it doesn't look good and then he uh like a... all secret back room bar yeah. things at least the the passage ways between them and then there's a vending machine door which i find interesting it's like an arcade puts in his token he you need to get some stamina up say what you need to get some stamina up stamina or juggernaug oh there you go them. so i didn't okay. do zo you know i didn't really play zombies that's how he he that's what he does this is how he 
he does all this. He gets like a bulletproof perk. So <laughs> you can just go on off all these rampages. Ugh. Um. So I was just thinking of Tron Legacy. I expected the coin to pop back out. Like, then he's gonna look down and notice the door just rotates. He walks down into his dad's uh, lost office. That's what I was thinking. That is, that's awesome. Who is John Wick's dad? Is he proud of his son? <laughs> Knowing the tragic backstory sort of thing he typifies, he's probably dead and died a long time ago. Yeah. Well, we know that he got like adopted by the Russians or whatever. Oh, yeah. That's true. I forgot um, about that. Who knows? Yeah. Um, let's see what else I got here. Oh, who is manning this vending machine door? Who's like there, like handling the, the flap? Because like he puts the coin in, like it slides to the side. Someone looks at John and sees him, and shuts it, and the door opens. Like, Everybody who's... the bounce gatekeeper guy. Sorry, it was cutting out. What? Everybody has a bouncer gatekeeper guy. Like, it wouldn't be a, a place with. I mean, there's one at the Red Circle. There's one. Everybody has that guy. That guy, the gatekeeper guy. The Lord of the Rings as a gatekeeper guy. How, how much know. is this guy getting paid a year? What's it, is he a salary? Is he an hourly? Tips. Like when you leave the bathroom at yeah. a fancy restaurant. <laughs> Just got to tip the guy. He's handing out mints. No. I assume he's paid fine. It's a job, you know. Not a career, not a lot of upward mobility, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's a job. Get you through school. <laughs> well, the, so what's what's like the clearance level that the people in the continental have to have? Like, it's not government clearance, but it's some kind of clearance. Like, you know, some stuff that you can't just go blabbing about because you're just the doorman. But well, so you wouldn't necessarily have to, because no business is allowed. Mm-hmm. We down on the cotton now, so nobody's brandishing weapons. Nobody's like, so, like you could just think this is a regular high class establishment. You don't know what people are talking about at their tables. It's like true. you know what's going on. It could just be, just hire hire Barney Fife and doesn't matter. Sure. Mm, at least somebody true. might get Barney Fife reference. I'm sure someone. I mean, that's popular enough. That's not like red green or whatever you're talking about. Red green's hilarious. Um, yeah, this is doorman guy. So how is this a trope? The the protagonist walks into a bar, like that's got that's a trope, right? The smoke mm, hanging in the air, the jazz book. music playing. Yeah. What is it with Keanu and club movies? Well, that'll come up a little bit later, but it is kind of like a, like you said, it's like more chill, I guess, bar. Yeah. But yeah, it is. It's a setting. Like people relate to a casual bar setting. Heavy me. Wow. Fourth movie comes around. I'm like, oh, there's the Frenchman from Matrix Reloaded. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's not yeah. the same guy, but like. Yeah. A French character. Who's a bad guy? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, that goes without saying, though, right? It's like French people are bad people. Antagonists is the word I was going to use. Did, well, it's hard to be antagonistic <laughs> when you're waving a white flag. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but they wave it aggressively. <laughs> Did we lose all our French listeners? I would say sorry, but step up your war game. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, yeah we're back to back world, conquered. world war champs you gotta step it up <laughs> um french should go into making doormats <laughs> be their major export <laughs> my favorite french thing is french fries and they're not even french <laughs> french toast french <clears throat> is french toast actually yeah. french i don't know that one but i don't know i am it's good. Whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I know how much is a singer. Well, the cool. singer, is that this week? They sh Yeah, they do show up in the background in this one, don't they? Yeah, yeah they're in the background, background. I have more notes on them, I think. 
done the singer tomorrow i don't remember Parkins works quick yeah. she's like in the lobby before him in and then like he went up to his room and sat down in the, but yeah. she just went to hit the drinks right away i guess she's really? like listen i got a job to do i gotta get i gotta get liquored up for this that's true because well she gets the job a little later so she oh, that's true. i guess i haven't put it out yet mm. spoilers the contract's out no that's contract's true. out the contract is but no business on continental ground she's not there to do biz that contract until she's definitely wait- there yeah to she's definitely there to look for an opportunity obviously the hotel rules are still in play yeah however she's definitely going to be stalking him and actually I, we, we do find out later well we find it out later so we'll get to it later how's that um <laughs> this bar was filmed at the ballroom and dining room of the hotel wolcott three minute walk from the empire state building at four west 31st street apparently uh designed in 1904 and apparently was seen by many celebrities or has seen many celebrities my bad so yeah is it like accessible to the general public um or do you have to go um, down a dark stairway and the probably not that it? one probably <laughs> not that one um but that is that's all i have for 41 i don't know about you um uh, nope just my failed red green joke so y'all need to go youtube that yep you will you will be uh sorely disappointed <laughs> that's, that's what you will be <laughs> all that hype for nothing um so speaking of youtube if you're listening to us on a podcast platform well guess what we're on youtube you can see our faces um i don't know if that's a plus but we're there and you can do it if you so desire um and and also a uh, brief apology our youtube is going to be a little janky this week there's a lot of issues going on so um but that's okay you you can still see us even if we're 12 frames a second or less but that's all right 12 no, frames a second it's not great uh sometimes less <laughs> uh, anyway uh other than that i guess you can join us again tomorrow for another episode of the john wick minute. the john wick minute oh uh, so keep your head on your shoulders now we ain't out here moving rocks we out here moving borders now we ain't getting postal rides we out here making posters and we ain't got nothing to hide we move forward like so